I'm Chloe and I'm a developer evangelist at CodeFresh. Today I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of our product. CodeFresh is a Docker native CI CD and that means we're optimized for incredibly fast builds. We have unique image management capabilities and we have the ability to spin up a pre-staging environment. So CodeFresh eliminates any bottlenecks that occur at staging and also gives us the ability to implement feedback much earlier. So follow along with me and I'll show you how easy it is to set up. The first thing I'm gonna do is create an account. Uh, I can use GitHub or Bitbucket to log in and we also support most on-prem Git solutions. Um, for the sake of this demo, I'm going to use my GitHub account. So I'll create my first pipeline by adding a repository called Demo Chat, which is a simple Node.js chat application that relies on a Mongo database. And I can search the repos in my account here, or I can copy and paste the URL to any repo that I have access to. And I have three options to set up my pipeline. If my repo doesn't have a Docker file, I can start with a template of a technology of my choice and just edit it to be specific to our application. I can use a CodeFresh YAML if I'm already familiar with CodeFresh and I've created a YAML file to describe my pipeline. And if I have a Docker file, I can jump straight into configuring the pipeline. So here I'll confirm the path to my Docker file. It's at the root of my repository, so we're good to go. And after clicking next, we'll see a preview of my Docker file. Since some repos can have more than one Docker file, we're just confirming here that we have the correct one. So this looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create. And now that my repository has been added, builds will start automatically on every commit. So I'll go ahead and start my first build. So in the background, CodeFresh is building my image, caching all the layers and saving them to an embedded registry, to CodeFresh's embedded registry. So any subsequent builds will utilize the cache and it'll build much faster. And this is the power of CodeFresh being Docker native. You can build extremely fast. So while this finishes, it'll probably take a minute or two. Um, I'll give you a tour of the left-hand side of our navigation. So repositories are where my pipelines live. Let's take a look at our builds. I can see the build just started and I'll be able to see any commits from anyone on my team here. And besides seeing if builds worked, CodeFresh can also send me build updates in Slack, email, or I can even embed a build badge on my repo. Images shows me all my images as well as the metadata for those images. And while images will be pushed to the registry of your choice, CodeFresh enriches my images metadata with test results, commit info, security, and more. So I'll dive a little deeper into this later. Compositions are where CodeFresh connects all the dots of my application. So I can launch new instances of my application for manual automated tests, and I'll create one of those in a moment. And environments will show me any running pre-staging environments that I have. So as I mentioned before, CodeFresh has the unique ability to have a pre-staging environment that we can spin up and I can manually test my features, I can share with my peers and stakeholders, and I can do all of this before I make a pull request. Returning to compositions, let's create my first one. So compositions are used in two ways. One is to run integration tests and unit tests as part of my pipeline, and another is to spin up a pre-staging environment, and that's what we were speaking about before. So since I need Mongo to run demo chat, I'll create one and we'll see it in action. So I'll click add composition and I will name it demo chat. And there's three ways that I can create my composition. If I start with a Docker compose file from my repo, all my services um, and my pipelines will be automatically added. Um, there are also predefined templates uh, that I can use to create my composition. Um, I have a file in my repo, but I'm going to start from an empty composition just for the sake of this demo. So first I will add demo chat as a service. There we go. As you can see on the right hand side, CodeFresh has automatically created a Docker compose file for us. And demo chat needs to be running on port 5000. So I will add that info here. Okay. 
And additionally, I need Mongo for my application to work. So I'll add that in here by typing in Mongo. And CodeFresh can be connected to your public and or private registries. So you can add any image you need for your composition. And if I click settings, I can select my main application service. This will be default entry point for my composition. Uh, I can also add any composition variables I need and encrypt them if need be. And I can edit the composition directly if I click this edit button here. If I'm either more advanced, if I'd like it to type it myself or copy and paste. So let's check on our build status. So we can see our builds completed. So let's see the image that we created in our images view. So we can see now that we have our image listed here. So from here, I can select the image I'd like. Um, I can see all the metadata for that image. So everything from the SHA, the branch tags, the last commit, the pipeline, as well as the image size is listed here. And I can also click to see my Docker file, logs, the image layers, and as we add more steps to the pipeline, more metadata will appear here, such as unit tests, security scans, performance analysis, and a lot more things. So by clicking the rocket icon near the top right corner, I'm given the option to launch the image as a standalone or as part of the composition I created. And as I mentioned before, we need Mongo to run our application, so I will launch it as a composition. We can see that CodeFresh is now provisioning our composition and it'll spin up both of the containers. And once this environment's up and running, I can share it with anyone on my team to get feedback and make sure that my feature is working as I intended it to. As a developer, it's incredibly frustrating to get feedback once my code is at staging because typically it's the first time anyone has seen um, my feature and it's too late to implement any of the feedback. So with the pre-staging environment, I can make all those updates and changes and do all of that before even getting to the staging server. And that eliminates any bottlenecks and it gives me the time I need to make the changes and updates that I need. So if we go over to environments, my launch composition is up and running. So if I click more information, I can see my running containers as well as the output for each of this, the containers that I have here. And from here, I can open up my application in a new window. I can share this environment on Slack as well, but I'm gonna open it in a new window here. Great. So here is our application, it's looking good. So let's click over to repositories again to view our pipeline. So as I mentioned before, there's two ways to configure our pipeline. We can either use the out of the box steps in the UI, such as build unit tests, integration tests, um, deployment, or we can use um, our YAML file options. So a YAML allows me to configure more complex and advanced pipelines, and you can also view more about this in our CodeFresh documentation right here. So in this demo, I'm going to use the CodeFresh UI to configure our pipeline. So let's add a unit test. So I will type npm test in this test script area, and now, since our tests have to run with a Mongo database, CodeFresh allows us to run this step inside a composition. So I'm going to choose this option and specify the composition that we created earlier. And I can also set the pipeline to automatically push the images that I'm building to my Docker registry. So now if I save and build, we'll see the entire pipeline in action. So since we already built the image, we're moving along much faster than we did last time. And as you can see, CodeFresh is spinning up the composition that I specified so we can run our unit tests with Mongo running. And this is the same process for integration tests as well. So lastly, CodeFresh will push the image, the Docker image to our pre-configured registry. And that's it. In just a few minutes, we were able to set up our pipeline. And now every commit that I make, we will build, test, and promote my images. 
So if you'd like to learn more about CodeFresh um, and how you can easily configure your pipeline to deploy your images to any public or private cloud, you can visit our website for more information or you can chat to get started today. Thanks for joining, guys.